Well, howdy everybody. Hey, it's old Rip One Outdoors back with you. Yep, we made it back to the bay, y'all. The little town of Bay St. Louis on the beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast. What did we bring with us today? We brought the Free Air Eden. So, y'all hang around. We're gonna go out and we're gonna take us a little ride. Maybe talk a little bit. Maybe tell y'all a little story down toward the end of it. Hope y'all enjoy it. Thank y'all for riding along with us. Grab something and hang on. Right along with Rip One Outdoors. Let's roll that intro. All right, everybody, let's get took off here. I was just taking a look at these uh, muck wheel bikes here. I guess that's how you pronounce them. Nice looking bike. Got them an electric trike up in the back of the truck there. That's an subsidian. And that would be the Basalt ST. I kind of like the looks of that Basalt, especially the camouflage. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, what we're seeing here is kind of like the, uh, or what y'all will see is the aftermath of the storm. Because this past week and this week past weekend was the cruising the coast. One of the biggest car shows in the South, if not in the United States. And I'll talk a little bit about that. And we did come down and take a visit with that. We come down and took a look at some old cars and stuff like that. I just want to ride around here like I normally do. One of the prettier places that I like in Bay St. Louis. Certainly, I mean, if you ask me where I'd come to first, if I wanted to come to a pretty place, it would be here. Ducks everywhere. Hey, ducky. As we said, we're riding the Free Air Eden. Why are we riding the Eden? That's just the one that I felt like grabbing. I'm kind of staying away from the Sega for a little while because uh, till I can get my balance back and everything. I had this knee surgery and I mean, you know, and everything's going good with that. Here we go. This apartment or house right here is for sale. Ashman Molier, called Thomas Moore Jr. 616-821-2990. Rich Craft, there you go, brother. A house on the duck pond. Only thing about that is, son, if it would flood, if it a hurricane come through, that house would flood. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Hadn't been riding a whole lot this week. I've uh, been busy. Just a lot of projects going on, a lot of things happening. We got Candace moved out and moved in. We got her moved in the, the White House and there. Yeah, see, we come down here Friday. I brought Susan and Grayson. We're trying to get around through here, but they had all these roads blocked where you couldn't drive through here. I'm gonna run up here 
if y'all don't mind. We might just pass up Miss Mary's and we might come back by in a little while and get us some ice cream. And she is serving. Yeah, Miss Mary's Old Town Snowballs and ice cream. Look at that. I tell you the truth about it, I can't do no ice cream right now, y'all. We just, we just had a big meal at the church. And we had the old-fashioned dinner on the ground. I mean, is any of y'all remember that? Old-fashioned dinner on, dinner on the grounds, as they call it. Some of the best cooking in the world. The church ladies cook up. And the church men, too. I know I smoked some chicken and brought it. Yeah, I'm on kind of a little mission here. I want to... Uh, I want to check out a route for a lady. Miss Pat Morris. I met her uh, this weekend. I came by and met her, brought her some business cards. She uh, found my channel and uh, she, she has got a TK1 trike. And, I'm, and she wanted me to come by and meet her and drop her off a few cards. And uh, I, I said, yeah, I would. And she wants to find a way to get from her apartments back back down towards the bay here, where uh, you know there won't be no bunch of dogs after her and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just check out a few of these roads here. So Miss Pat, this ride's for you. We're on Carroll right now. I think we need to. There's one old, old car right there, Lincoln Continental. but I've never rode down here much. So I don't really know, quite know exactly where I'm going yet. But I know she could ride any of these streets here on her trike. Yeah, I mean, these streets, are, these streets are all bicycle friendly. I think what it was is she run into a policeman somewhere and could maybe come to her apartment. And he was telling her that on some of these streets they had dogs that would run you. I don't, this, this is in the city of Bay St. Louis and they pretty strict on their dog rules. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. But then again, I don't know that for sure. So her apartments is up this way. So we're gonna cut through here. So if she comes out of her apartment, comes this way and rides back this way, where, where, how is it gonna be down this way? Turn my pedal assist off there inadvertently. So here you go, Miss Pat. We're coming right behind these apartments here. And this looks safe enough. I don't see no pot licking hounds here. Dogs that would run her. Confederate Rose. It's a pretty, pretty tree. No, y'all ain't no dogs over here. Yeah, Miss Pat, you can come right through here. This is Ruella. There ain't, there ain't nothing on Ruella. Okay, Miss Pat, here's your, here's your route. You want to come down Ruella till you get here along by these pretty uh, green houses here. And then we're gonna turn on seminary, okay? That's like a, a Catholic church right there, our school. So turn here, don't go down by the school cause they, that, that's a dead end down that way. So turn by the school and come down this way. Now let's see where we go. Webster? Yeah, why not? No. Webster stops right there. So let's see what's next. Oh yeah, these are wide open. These are wide open streets here. I think we're back on Carroll. Yeah, just come this way, Miss Miss Pat, and right on down. You can go right on out to the beach right here. I'll find out what street this is here in a minute. 
Yeah, no reason why you can't just ride your trike right on down this street right here. And here you can go right on to the right down there to Miss Mary's Snowballs. Or you can go right on out to the beach here on Ullman. I tell you what, let's do everybody. Let's uh while it's pretty, let's head across the bridge. How about that? Yeah, we went and met Miss Pat and uh she's a sweet lady. She's a sweetheart. And uh she showed me her trike. She got a nice rig. She got one just like I got. Same color. But she was a little concerned about how to get down here to the beach without having to go around a bunch of, uh, without having to drive by a bunch of chasing dogs and stuff like that. So there you go. I got to her that route. bunch of Harley hoggers. Oh Lord, they got my route blocked up here. Where I, well, I can get on right up here. I tell you what, y'all, y'all would have had to been down here Friday and Saturday to see all the, uh, all the old cars cruising the coast. They cruise from Bay St. Louis, the Waveland area, all the way to Pascagoula and Moss Point and places like that. Pretty long stretch down through the coast here that they cruise. And they call it cruising the coast because that's, that's basically what they do is they just drive. Burn a lot of gas. But I believe they had nearly 10,000 uh, people that signed up, okay? And that's the people that signed up. I think it costs you $25 to sign up and they give you a shirt that's worth 30. <laughs> and, uh, so it's not a bad deal. But over 9,000 signed up. See, there comes an old Bronco right there. Look at there. But the thing about it is, there's probably another 9,000 that came and rode without signing up. They just rode along with them, you know? You don't have to pay nothing just to ride. I tell you what, it feels good to be on the free to air Eden. I was looking at them mock wheel bikes back there, boat wheel or whatever you pronounce it. That's a nice looking bike. They got, a, uh, they got quite a few options there. Nice looking bike. Might look into one of them myself. But I can tell you, if I get out here and buy a bike, a cruiser, it's gonna have to be better than what I got. And so far, I don't know if there's anything out there that's better than what I got. I'm talking about the free to air eating. Look at that pretty blue sky, y'all. Ain't that nice? It's nice to be back in Bay St. Louis. Hey, if nothing else, reach down there and hit that like button for a Bay St. Louis ride, will you? I've been wanting to get back down this way. Especially now that the weather's turned, turned off nice. Got a message here for Joe Rides. I know Joe Rides watching me. He's from up around, up in the Michigan area. Which we won't hold that against you, Joe. But this week, come Wednesday, Wednesday night, it's supposed to be 47 here. I'm gonna have to break out my old long sleeve shirt, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to break out my long sleeve shirt. I guess y'all see that I still got my old glove on that's broke. Somebody said something about it. I've been wearing that gloves, hey, since the, uh, the second time I made a video, I think. That glove broke, and I never replaced it. It still feels good on my hand, so if y'all don't mind that thing just kind of dangling out there, 
We'll just keep on wearing it, okay? I'll break down one day, maybe buy me another pair. It's, I think I wear an XXR, XXL or something like that. But I like these because they got them pads on the hands and all, which I like the, I like the hand grips on the Eden. They don't really cause me a problem, but it's just a habit. I just, I like wearing my gloves. All right, y'all, we're coming down off the end of the bridge here. The Tetra hydraulic brakes has no problem stopping the free air Eden. Yeah, up there, at that, up there at that big intersection right there, they had a major wreck there the other day. I saw it on the news. Some of the, some of the, the old cruiser cars was there doing burnouts. And one guy's car, he was driving a, a Camaro Supersport. His car got away from him. That thing run out there and hit one of them big uh, poles that holds them, light, them red lights up. Yeah, he messed his car up bad. Here we are at Henderson Park. Y'all remember Henderson Park? Rode around in here several times, took pictures. Nice little area. There's the Mena, the big Mena yacht, look. <laughs> I usually stop and take a picture of a bike whenever I'm uh, doing a review there. That's a real good place to stop and take a picture. This little free air bike's got the punch, y'all. Guys, yeah, got him a little electric bike here. Let's ride down and see what he's doing. How you doing? How you doing? Good. I don't know what he was riding. I didn't get a picture of it. Anyway, we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time over here. We're gonna turn around and uh, head back across the bridge. And we'll pick y'all back up over there, okay? All right, let's climb this hill. Get on up this hill, Hoss. Look at that thing, that's throttle only. Look at this thing, you reckon it won't pull a hill? Golly, I love it. So how many of y'all have checked the price on this bike? I think it's $15.99 or something like that, but, but if you use that RIP100 discount code, when you use my link, you get you $100 off of that. So it makes it about $14.99. I hope I'm not over overstating that. But I think that's, I think that's the price, $14.99. It may be $100 cheaper than that, but I can tell you this much, it's worth every penny off. Because look at what all you're getting. High dollar, high quality components with a torque sensor. Yeah. Can't beat it for that price. Tour sensor bikes are running around seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars. We'll see y'all back on the other side of the bridge, okay? All right, y'all. We jumped back off the bridge and we're back on the uh, Beach Boulevard now. I think we're just gonna run right on through town. See, you couldn't do this the other day because they had all this blocked off for the old cars. But I don't think we're gonna have no problem today. All right, here we go. We're getting back into, I guess, the business part of part of Bay St. Louis here. Where the old shops and restaurants and whatnot are. Oh, that sun is bright. Still busy in there, I can tell you. Yep, still busy. So they're around the side piece, man. It's a rocking place on a Sunday afternoon, especially after cruising the coast. There's some of the old cars there.
He looks like he got that one just out of the junkyard. Yeah, I told y'all I was going to tell y'all a story. We're kind of heading back down towards Washington Avenue. We're passing by this, uh, what do you call this? Bishop Lee, Leo Fahey, F-A-H-E-Y. That's one of them French names. Well, Daddy had an old Frenchman that worked with him, with us down on the job site. This was back in the early 70s. His name was Gerald Truchette. He wore water boots. Just about everywhere you saw him at, out on the job site or whatever he had on a pair of water boots that he wore. Well, Coast Electric, which is our local electric supplier people, where we get our power from, Coast Electric, ever so often back then, they would have a, uh, a big singing or something or another, you know, because the electric company is co-op owned owned by the owned by the uh the customers so yeah they had us they had a singing coming up and uh i don't really think it cost anything to go and watch the people that sing, sung because it was all paid for by coast electric and old gerald trousset found out that webb pierce was going to be in town now am i talking above your head y'all know who webb pierce is he's an old country singer and he's a star of the grand Ole opry he sung a song called, I ain't never, I ain't never seen nobody like you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Never have I ever seen anybody like you. That was Webb Pierce. Well, we found out that Webb Pierce was coming and Coast Electric was gonna sponsor him. I'll have him singing for us. Me and Joey went. And it was right down here at Bay St. Louis on Highway 90. And we went down there and it was on a night, I think it was like a Friday night somewhat like that. Me and Joy was sitting kind of high in the bleachers, you know, they had it I think like a, a high school auditorium or something like that. We were sitting up kind of high in the bleacher. Well, after a while, me and Joy looked down and said, look, there comes Gerald in. Oh, Gerald had him one of them tall boy beers. I don't know who made a tall boy. Was that Budweiser or whoever? I don't know one from the other. I don't drink it. But yeah, old Gerald, he went down there. Well, you know, any any band, any country music uh, artist or whatever, uh, I don't know, some of these pop artists, whatever, they're not just gonna pop right out on the stage and go to singing. Usually, usually if they're by themselves, they'll let their band come out and open for them or either some uh, junior talent or some kind, you know. And well, Webb Pierce's band was gonna come open for him while he was backstage. So his band got out there and they were okay, you know. I mean, they, they were okay. They were about as good as a, any band, you know. They weren't the lead act. So we sat there and listened to the band for a little bit and we seen Gerald down there with his water boots on. Still dressed like he was whenever we saw him on the job site. And he had him one of these little, uh, little throwaway cameras, the kind you kind you put in a bag and put it in a Kodak place and they, they uh, developed the pictures for you. Little throwaway camera. He had him one of them. And he was snapping pictures, holding that tall boy beer in one hand and snapping pictures with the other one. I said, Joy, look. Look what old Gerald's doing. He's snapping pictures. So after a while, the band got through. And we walked down there and I said, we, me and Joy decided, hey, we're going to walk down there and talk to Gerald. See what he's up to. By then, old Gerald was about four sheets in the wind that tall boy was starting to get to him you know plus plus all the ones that he had before that one he was he had a glow about him i'm gonna tell you he did we got down there run up on him hey gerald what's going on man oh man my wife wanted me to come take some pictures of webb pierce he said i done snapped all my pictures up i got some good pictures of him my wife sure is gonna be happy with me 
I don't know if it was me or Joey or who, uh, who of it, both of us maybe combined it said, Gerald, your problem is, is that's not Webb Pierce that you was taking all them pictures of. That was his band. I said, Webb Pierce ain't never come out here yet. Gerald said, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. I said, no. No, Webb Pierce ain't come out yet. Well, he said, well, now what am I going to do? I said, hey, but one thing you can do, go across, to go find you a stopping rod or whatever that sells them little cameras and buy you another camera. He said, oh, no, man. He said, I'm liable to leave. And he said, Webb Pierce come out on the stage and I'm missing. I said, that's a good possibility. So the end of the story was, is Gerald went down there and snapped all his pictures up of the band thinking that he was taking pictures of Webb Pierce. And it wasn't Webb Pierce. <laughs> I never will forget that. I never will forget the look on his face when we told him, Gerald, that ain't Webb Pierce. <laughs> hey, Lord, look at their sea oats growing, y'all. Ain't they coming along pretty good? Yeah, it was a beautiful day today. I told y'all earlier that we had a... We had a big uh, the dinner on the ground at the church. And I actually took, uh, we got up this morning and put a bunch of chicken on the pellet grill, me and Susan, and uh, with apple smoked chickens, apple smoked chicken parts. And we took, put them chicken in a, in a, in a crock pot and I hold that I hold that crock pot to church on my trike. So I wonder, having having said that, I wonder if there's anybody else that's hauled any crock pots or some kind of kitchen utensils or going to a uh, potluck or whatever on their TK1 trike. I'd be interested in knowing that. I tell you, I tell you what, it worked real good. I put a rubber bumper underneath that thing so it wouldn't be rattling around. And I put, uh, and I tied it down with a little old bungee cord. Yeah, it feels good to get back down to the bay again, y'all. I was gonna title the, uh, like a thumbnail and title the ride, you know, hey, cruising the coast, but the only cruising the coast people we've seen, I seen that Bronco, and then we seen that old putt-putt truck in front of us there a while ago. I don't know what that was. Some kind of an old truck, he had headers on it, had them open. He was making a racket, I know that. Look at these pretty houses through here, y'all. Ain't this pretty? People really, really fix their places up for Bay St. Louis, I can tell you. They really make their community look good. All right, y'all, fixing to turn on 3rd Street here. We'll be back at the truck here in a few minutes. I guess with that said, we'll, uh, we'll leave y'all with this, that uh, as we always do, I mean, I guess I'll pedal a bike, you know, and not pedaling with my feet, but I'm talking about try to sell one. But if there's a bike that I have that I like to try to sell, it's, it's this free, these free air bikes, and especially the free air Eden for me, because it works better for me, because I like the cruiser style bike. But to me, you'll be hard pressed finding one on the market that's any better than it right now. Uh, but yeah, look in my link. I got a link for free dare in my description right there. Check it out. If you decide to purchase one of them, use that link and use that RIP100 coupon code and get you an extra $100 off. And I'll tell you right now, you won't be sorry that you did. It's a good quality bike. Company is rock solid. Excellent customer service. These little businesses here are nice. We come here Friday and eat lunch at the, the, the Blind Tiger right here. That's a, that's a nice place to, I got a smash burger. Smash burger and some uh, sweet potato fries. Okay, so with all that said, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll leave this with you if you, if you care to like our channel. I wanted to say uh, before I go off the air, there's a man from uh, England I forgot his uh, his handle. I'll put his handle on the in a graphic. But he been commenting on some of my videos, and we're glad to have him. I told him welcome to South Mississippi. I know he's in England, but uh, in a sense, maybe we can make him feel at home over here as we do videos and such. But yeah, good to have you with us, sir. And uh, so just about the time you know you think 
the little channel don't even go out no more. Ain't nobody watching anymore. I mean, we get news like that. So thank you, sir, for watching. And hey, if it makes y'all feel better, it'd make me feel better if you hit that subscribe, that like, and that bell notification. And until we see y'all again out there on the road somewhere, this is Old Rip One saying we hope y'all be blessed. Thank y'all for watching.